What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So Tesla dropped the spring update just a couple of days ago. It's still slowly trickling out to the fleet. However, we received it in the Cybertruck well over a week ago at this point. And I have to say there is one undocumented change that I think blows the rest away. Yes, some of the new cyber tent modes and all of this other little neat tips and tricks that came with it. Over cabin overheat protections, obviously phenomenal, especially here in Florida. But I think the best undocumented change is that it is now even more efficient. Yes, the energy usage has substantially decreased. Doing the same trips that we've done in the past, we are using a whole hell of a lot less energy than we were prior. Obviously, this equates to better range, even on the same tires that came on the Cybertruck, not these core tires that they just announced yesterday, obviously, and it has been amazing. Doing a lot of highway driving, over 70, between 70 and 80 miles an hour, mixed with city usage, we have seen energy between, really, in the high 300s to the low 400s average out. Um, it's been amazing. The same drives we've used about, you know, 450 ish to 500, almost 600 um, usage of energy units. So it's guys, I mean that whatever the Cybertruck team did here to make this more efficient is amazing. We have seen regularly, even just regular commuting, daily driving all around the city regularly in the 300s. Now that is something we've never seen in the past not even a single time, and we have now seen it consistently. Usually we would keep the little uh, tab open or the little slide on the bottom showing the energy usage per mile, and it's never shown 300 consistently. We are hovering around that. We were mindful of it. This was not even in chill mode. If you guys follow the channel, you would have seen a while back. We did a video driving to Orlando in chill mode and then driving back in standard mode or regular, and it made a substantial difference. However, this is simply in regular driving, not even in chill. I'm excited to put it through the paces for that. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel and thumbs up this video if you wanna see it. This video is brought to you in part thanks to our channel partners, Mint Mobile. And if you're looking to switch up your wireless service, definitely give Mint Mobile a look as they have some of the best plans piggybacking off of T-Mobile's towers. And right now you can get any plan they offer for only $15 a month for the first three months. Additionally too, if you sign up for one of their plans, from now until the end of May, you can actually get Paramount Plus Essential Plan for free for six months. It's a great offer. We personally use Mint Mobile. They've been around for a while now. They are now fully integrated with T-Mobile and have some of the best coverage nationwide that we've used. Definitely give them a look eSIM setups, regular physical SIMs, they're all available depending on what devices you want. And don't forget, you can actually finance them right from their website through a firm if you need a new phone. If not, bring your own phone and continue on with the best service around. Thanks Mint Mobile for partnering us on this video. Now, that is obviously one of the best updates for this spring release that was undocumented. However, there is one additional cool feature that a lot of people always have asked about and that is the AC vents being able to be turned off on the passenger side when not in use. So technically, obviously the Cybertruck and all Teslas can really tell if there's a passenger occupying a seat. You know that right on the display on the card that shows you uh, if seat belts are actually attached or not fastened. Now you can actually, from the actual center display, long press on that vent on the right hand side for your front passenger and turn off the vent altogether, saving even more energy, which also brings us to another point to close the circle and close the loop on the extra energy savings. That Tesla mentioned that was coming from this update and that is as far as not even keeping the rear display on when driving when there is no rear passenger. I don't think that's what's equating to all of these extra energy savings, but it is a call out that could be definitely helping in this regard. So. Just want to let you guys know that go drive your Cybertruck if you got this video, even any other model, S, E, X, or Y. Let us know in the comments below, are you seeing massive range improvements and less energy usage per mile? Let us know. I'm really curious to see if this affected the whole fleet or just simply Cybertruck users. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.